name is Amy Dallin, and today on Talking Comics Weekly, we're talking steampunk. Specifically, we are talking Legendary, a steampunk adventure, the miniseries from Dynamite, whose second issue ships today. Legendary is the brainchild of Bill Willingham, the writer of the modern classic Vertigo comic, Fables, about a world in which all the familiar characters of fairy tales have been thrown together in modern day New York City. Willingham is prepared to work the same magic on the pulp adventure heroes, with a story that reimagines them all in a steampunk world of his own design. The roster of heroes in play is intriguing to say the least. A steampunk green hornet, Vampirella, Red Sonia, Flash Gordon, and the six thousand dollar man. These are a few of the faces we'll be seeing in this book, and given Willingham's gift for the literary remix, it is a hugely exciting prospect. Steampunk and sci-fi in general is all about the what if. And today I get to answer a really, really, really cool what if of my own with the help of some ridiculously amazing guests about whom I'm going to be totally professional. Steam Powered Giraffe! Steam Powered Giraffe is an amazing band whose members perform as robots from the Victorian era. And today I am going to get my own automatonic transformation. But first, I'll need to do a little shopping. Welcome to Clockwork. I understand you're going to need to be outfitted. I, I am going to get my, my very own automaton Victorian makeover. Okay. <laughs> what, are, what are the automatons wearing these days? Uh. And it's, this seems to be the height of fashion for it, actually. <laughs> Very good. So here we are with the incredibly talented members of Steam Powered Giraffe. If y'all would introduce yourselves, please. Hi, I'm uh, Bunny Bennett. My name's Sam Luke, I play Hatchworth. And I'm David Michael Bennett, I play The Spine. What are we going to do today? We're gonna robotize you. Turn you into a robot, a rare treat. I don't think a lot of people get... No, we brought all the makeup and you got a costume and it's gonna happen. It usually takes us like three hours. We don't really rush when we put our makeup on. Yeah. yeah. No laughing. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Sam? <laughs> Now, I have a, a bit of an awkward question, because I'm not, not used to working with cleavage. <laughs> so, are we just going to cover that? Do you want to paint it yourself? Or... <laughs> so, so the name is Panda Skeleton? <laughs> <laughs> Skelepanda. I think we have ourselves a robot. Keep your arms at, at level. So most of it is just taking body inventory and, you know, just kind of... Knowing that every movement reacts to another movement, then you can get, you know, it's all about like isolating individual parts of your body. Like, so if you stand still, that's a lot more impressive than like jumping around. But I think the easiest one is probably moving the head, just... Isn't this incredible? Um, so thank you to Clockwork Couture for the wonderful outfit to go with this makeover. And thank you guys so much for being here. Anything you guys want to promote? Uh, www.steampiredraft.com Thank you so much! Thank you so much to Steam Power Giraffe for doing this with me. My first quick pick for today is their own webcomic, which you can see online at steampoweredgiraffe.com. For more steampunk goodness, check out the following. Return of the Dapper Men, which is a wholly original children's fable with a healthy dose of clockwork charm. Girl Genius, another of the standard bearers for steampunk with its inventor heroine who has a touch of the mad scientist to her. The Adventures of Luther Arkwright, which was one of the first works to explore this kind of setting and deserves a place on every steampunk historian's shelf. So what makes steampunk so compelling? Nostalgia for an imagined Jules Vernean past? Rebellion against the tidy design of an iPod with a sudden romantic attachment to moving parts? What do you think? Sound off in the comments! And if you enjoyed this adventure, please like this video, subscribe to Geek and Sundry, buy the new Steam Powered Giraffe album, Mark III, and join us next week for another new comic book day and another adventure!